Anybody curious on what's in the box? I am. I, I have no idea what it looks like. I just saw it. There's two of them. I don't know which one I got. So let's take a look. And thank you for whoever sent this, if you're watching, for keeping it. And not throwing it away. Because boy do I need it. But I just need it for a pattern really. I only got one of them. Well packed here. Anybody know what it is yet? <laughs> God, if I can ever get to it. Wow, it has a latch on it. That's cool. But yeah, this is what we're trying to, we're going to try to figure out how to make these. Uh, so let's see if you guys can see that in this frame. Oh yeah. And uh, looks like it, mm, I'm not going to make them exactly the way they made them. But I'll make it look the same. What I'm going to get is some C channel for right here. Then I'll I, I'm going to get that little orange aluminum has it. And then I'm just going to cut a notch in it right here like that, and then bend it. And then I'll weld a little piece of aluminum on there. Then that'll make the for the glass to hold it to. Then I'll get some. To find out what kind of metal this is. Anyway, I'll take it apart. I'll figure out a few things. At least I have a pattern now. <clears throat> so, well, I have one. I need four more. If anybody has them, it'd be a whole lot easier if I could buy them for a reasonable price. I certainly don't want to pay that much. I paid, uh, I mean, I'd be willing to give a thousand for the whole set, but people want two grand, and I just think that's. <clears throat> you know, for something that needs to be restored, it's just that's just way too too much. But anyway, got one. Alright, hopefully we got a decent video going. It's not all flashy and stuff. Okay, um, so there's a couple ways in. And um, probably, live, I'm willing to live with what's there. It's not much. I just uh, did everything with the VA first and then pop friend a couple of spots. Like there's a little wave right here. It's kind of a slow mover. Well, the other one's got a little wave down in here, where is this, is this one? Yeah, there's a little wave right here, it kind of goes down, but it's down low on the door, so. Those are all the things that I determine my deciding factors on whether I'm gonna leave something or not. 
you know, some of you guys might say, oh, I don't leave anything. Well, that takes a lot of time. You get to that point. And like I said, then you defeat you, you the purpose of what I'm trying to do, which is build something that's a driver. You know, that I'm not saying it's going to be a daily driver, and I, if it was, I would hope that they have another car because they drove you know, in bad weather and unopportune times. Times when you can have another car to have when it's. You know, when it's broke down, it's very cold. Old car, things are going to go wrong with it. Parts are going to be a little slower to get. It's all your normal stuff. It's old cars. So that's why I always say not a good idea as a daily driver. I, when I'm saying that, I'm not saying as a daily driver, I'm saying as a primary daily driver. Drive the car. Right? Well, I just run over a thing, everything with a, with a hand block like this, and what that does is just knocks out the VA mark. Just a little bit. A few strokes with this thing will make a huge difference. I feel a wave right here where I'm going into my transition. I could probably knock it down a little bit more with this if I feel like it. The kind of things you're doing by hand. Checking it out, feel it out while you're while you're sanding it. That's the way I do it. I stop and feel a panel every once in a while, but most of the time I'm sanding or doing something else to it. But most of the hard work's already done with the VA. Here I'll just go over by hand. I'll bring you guys back in in a minute. All right, let's take a look at them with the sealer here. Just the, just the sealer. So yeah, there's, there's a few little waves in them, but not much. I mean, like I said, uh, it's a van. I'm not trying to get it perfect. There's a little one down at the bottom. Now, once the door's upright and on the car, it's going to look different. You won't notice a lot of it. Uh, this one here, of course, has a slow mover right in the middle. I felt it. I knew it was there. Again, like I said, I'm not longboard and stuff. And when it's all done, you'll see it'll look really nice. Uh, just like my other ones, I did this the same way I do all the ones I've owned. And people all thought they were like super cherry, and they're not. So, anyway, that's the sealer. I'll let that sit there for a while. It's going to sit for about 30 minutes or so. Maybe I'll pull them inside. Wind's picking up. I just want to shoot them real quick while they're off and they want to get the booth out for doing that. In fact, I don't even know if it'll work with this thing here. I don't know if I air it up, if it'll even fit. It's huge. And so I don't know if I'm going to move that or what if I paint the van. Probably. Up underneath doing the brakes and I uh, wanted to show you guys one thing real quick. Um, when I do these, the uh, they have these grommets you can buy if you want to buy them. You can. Or, I don't know, they're kind of pricey. I thought they were kind of ridiculous, but I just don't want to stop and go to the store and go get them and freak out over a little stuff. I mean, if you're doing a custom restoration, the main thing is, is you don't want the brake line to rub against the metal. So I center it, then I just put silicone around it, and that keeps it centered so it doesn't rub against the side. The other thing you can do is what we did on this one is we just use these, these generic grommets from Harbor Freight and shove them in the hole and then we put silicone in there. Anything to keep the brake line from rubbing against the edge, that's all that's really for. Just grinding down some of these welds and I'll put my seam sealer over that. So this is what this inner panel looked like after all the repairs. If you wanted, if I wanted to, I could ground this down all down nice and just filled it all. 
it made it look just like the panel was a original piece. But I just went ahead and just put some seam sealer on there. So that's now going to get painted black. I think I'm just going to leave the cracks. I could fill them all, but I think it'll be nice for the water to run out of there instead of it building up and trying to find these holes because it, it's it, it ends up rusting out eventually because of the design. So maybe that'll help. It doesn't really matter how you handle that. It's up to you. Look at the Tamco base coat. How that looks. See, that's a lot more refined than the uh, sign paint. Just not quite as, you know, it's nothing like it. Base coat's a lot. But it's, it's different. It's not the same as uh, the sign paint. You guys see that difference. Anyway, I don't know, the camera's kind of jumping around because I got light out there and it's dark in here. All right, so here's what we're looking at here. Uh, got it pretty, it's pretty straight. It's not perfect. But again, like I said, the difference between perfect and what we've got here is a lot more time. So very little going on there once it's on the car. And remember, this is a van, so it's going to be, there's a lot of surface area to paint and stuff, a lot of surface area to do body work on. So, you know, on these, I don't like to spend that kind of time. It just takes too long to make it really perfect. And I just, I don't need to do it anymore. I'd done it years ago. I don't need to any, anymore now. So, but I'm just trying to do stuff that I like to do and spend the amount of time I like it to spend on it. And that's it. So anyway, these things look pretty nice. I'll just uh, color sand above them. And they'll even look smoother then. And then that kind of takes out the little bit of waves that are there. Makes them not as noticeable. So remember that color sanding and buffing always helps out a little bit in the end. So what I've been doing now is just kind of ground these down again. Got them a little smoother. Just threw some uh, of that, uh, what is it called? Seam sealer. Don't knock it till you tried it. This is household stuff, and I'm telling you, it's not silicone free and it's oil based or it's a urethane. It's super hard. It works great for automotive. It just dries very, 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 very slow. Actually, I'm not seeing that much difference between it and the stuff I bought. It's been a long time since I bought that seam sealer. So I bought some of it, the regular automotive stuff, and it didn't seem really that much different than this. And this is about half the price. So, anyway, it's super strong when it dries. I've got all this stuff seam sealed, the corners, back in here, back behind in here. So if you see that red primer, that means I primed it before I put it on to make sure that the rust is dead. You know, double protection on that. All this, you can see how it's black. That's got that, uh, it has that uh, rust converter on there. I sprayed a bunch underneath here. I'm just going around fixing all this stuff. I gotta do that one. See, I ground those down a little smoother. And I just go ahead and just coat them with seam sealer so that the water doesn't get between the welds. And stuff like that. You guys wanna see what this looks like? Yeah, that's all it looks like right there. I'll just uh, coat this with seam sealer. All back here, that's what that corner looks like underneath. I mean, once that's coated with seam sealer, it won't look bad. Let's look at it primed real quick. All right, let's see if you guys can let's squirt a little of this on there. Oh, I didn't get very good penetration. Oh, it looks like I welded both sides of it. Hmm. What's that mean, guys? I'll just do like that. Let that dry. Coat it with seam sealer. Uh, I'll probably just get my... Uh, bondo spreader in there and I'll just take some seam sealer and just coat the whole area so that the, if the water gets back up in here this has electro galvanized on it this metal all the metal I use has that on it so it's actually rust resistant already but might as well can't get do, can't do too much right yeah one guy said I did half ass work and uh, wanted to thank a lot of you guys for jumping on him right away let him know uh, what half-assed is. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. I, before I even got a chance to cop, reply to his comment, there was other two other guys jumped on him. <laughs> Thank you. Got the wheel cylinders on the painted backing plates. 
and uh, lines on here. Some of the lines front and rear are on there. Master cylinders in place. Got this line in right here. I almost didn't even notice it was there. I don't use the old grommet because it was in good shape. So sometimes they're in good shape, pull them back out and use them again. You can buy them new, Wellsburg West has them. All right guys, so things are winding down now. It's pretty much where it's at right there. Dry. Super smooth, just need a little bit of color sanding buffing, it'll be just like glass, really. Uh, there'll be a, you know, like I said, there's a couple ways in it, but when you stand them up on the car, you see less. So I already know what I'm going to see because I've done it so many times. I just kind of know. Uh, not always. Sometimes I'm wrong. Sometimes I look at it and I go, oh, shoot, I didn't see that. Or, that came out worse than I thought it would. Sometimes it comes out way better than I thought. So anyway, that's it for this. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. That's how we're going to get the whole thing looking about like that and that should be nice all right i'll talk to you guys in the next video please like share and subscribe let's see those comments roll and uh if you get the haters uh just jump on them and <laughs> no, i get it you don't have to it's great i i, I thought it was funny uh, that was actually hilarious when i saw you know as you know half ass you know it, it, listen you know i mean i know i cut some corners I, i'm trying to show shortcuts i'm not trying to do stuff half-assed to me half-assed is bondo just slammed on something and then you know you know crappy junk wavy crap junk you know that's half-assed you know what i do is shortcuts okay not and it's different shortcuts are something that makes it still look good but makes it look not quite as nice as when you spend a ridiculous amount of time and make it really nice and there is a difference, and I know what the difference is. I just personally, personally, I, I'll take this all day long. This is fine. When this is done, you guys will see. It'll be like, wow, that's nice. Is it as nice as the guy who spent 30000 on a paint job? No, it isn't. It's not the same. But I'm not going to do that. And a lot of you guys are not going to do that. So if that's half-assed, thank you.